Welcome back to the majestic world of the Byzantine Empire. As we venture further into the annals of its military legends, we now explore generals 11 through 20. Their names might not be as renowned, but their tales of valor and strategic mastery are no less grand. Alexios Strategopoulos, a name deeply etched in Byzantine history, was the general who achieved the seemingly impossible. Serving Michael VIII Paleologos, Strategopoulos played a pivotal role in reconquering what was once lost to the empire. In 1261, the Byzantine Empire had been exiled from its capital, Constantinople, for over half a century, with the Latin Empire in control. Alexios Strategopoulos, discerning and daring, identified an opportunity when he learned that the Latin garrison was away. With stealth and strategy, he led a detachment of troops into the city, using hidden pathways and the cover of night. Surprising the remaining defenders, his forces quickly secured key points, and by dawn, the Byzantine flag flew over Constantinople once again. This remarkable achievement not only ended 57 years of Latin rule but also restored the Byzantine Empire's heart and soul. Strategopoulos's audacious reconquest of Constantinople remains a legendary testament to his military genius and the indomitable spirit of the Byzantine people. John Troglita, a name synonymous with military prowess in the 6th century Byzantine Empire became a beacon of inspiration for soldiers and commanders alike. As Justinian I sought to reclaim lost territories, it was John's leadership that ensured pivotal victories in North Africa. The Byzantine Empire's influence in North Africa had dwindled considerably by the time John Troglita was appointed as the Magister Militum. With the persistent Berber revolts threatening Byzantine hegemony, John's tactical acumen became evident during his campaigns. The most remarkable of these was the Year of Battles in 546 AD. Despite facing fierce Berber coalitions, John's forces emerged victorious in four significant encounters, restoring Byzantine control over vast regions. One battle, the Third Battle of Bagai, is especially celebrated, where, against overwhelming odds, Troglita orchestrated a surprise cavalry charge, leading to a decisive victory. Such triumphs weren't merely displays of military might but also highlighted John's capability to galvanize his troops, fostering unity and resilience. These campaigns were instrumental in solidifying the Byzantine foothold in North Africa, earning John Troglita a legacy of enduring repute. George Maniax, a towering figure of Byzantine history, emerged during the 11th century as an esteemed general. His exploits not only stretched the Byzantine Empire's boundaries but also etched his name into the annals of medieval warfare. Maniax's legend was truly cemented with the audacious expedition to Sicily in 1038. Tasked with reclaiming the island from Muslim rule, he led a multifaceted army comprising Byzantines, Normans, and Varangians. With strategic brilliance, he recaptured key cities, including the formidable fortress of Syracuse. His victories were punctuated by his ability to adapt to changing battlefield scenarios, often outmaneuvering his opponents with tactical surprises. Beyond Sicily, Maniax also notably held command in Asia Minor, where he masterfully thwarted Arab incursions, particularly around Edessa. However, his military career wasn't without controversy. During his Sicilian campaign, tensions with fellow commanders and Norman mercenaries flared, leading to confrontations and, ultimately, his recall to Constantinople. Yet, despite the political intrigues and battles, George Maniax's military acumen remains an enduring testament to Byzantine resilience. Theodore the First Lascaris, a pivotal figure of the late Byzantine era, emerged as the founder of the Empire of Nicaea. Amidst the wreckage of the Fourth Crusade, Lascaris arose, kindling hope in the hearts of the Byzantine people. When Constantinople fell to the Crusaders in 1204, it wasn't just the capital that was lost. The very essence of the Byzantine Empire seemed to have crumbled. In this chaos, Lascaris took the initiative, rallying the dispirited Byzantine forces. 
His military genius was evident in battles like the Battle of Antioch on the Meander, where he thwarted Latin advances. He carved out a domain in Asia Minor, creating the Nicene Empire as a bastion against both the Latin invaders and the encroaching Seljuk Turks. Throughout his reign, Lascaris faced relentless challenges, he contended with rival Byzantine factions, repelled Latin assaults, and engaged the Seljuks in numerous skirmishes. Yet, his leadership laid the groundwork for the eventual reconquest of Constantinople and the re-establishment of the Byzantine Empire. Through strategic alliances and relentless warfare, Lascaris ensured that the Byzantine spirit would endure, even in its darkest hour. Flavius Claudius Julianus, often known as Julian the Apostate, remains one of the most enigmatic emperors of Rome. Ascending the throne in 361 AD, Julian's reign, though short, was punctuated with distinctive military and religious endeavors. Once in power, Julian was quick to exhibit his military prowess, focusing primarily on the eastern frontiers where the Roman Empire constantly grappled with the formidable Sassanid Persians. Under his leadership, Roman forces achieved significant successes, most notably during his campaign in 363 AD, where they besieged the strategic city of Ctesiphon. Although the city was not captured, the Romans inflicted considerable damage and showcased their resilience against the Persian might. As Julian's troops retraced their steps, a sudden and fierce skirmish ensued, during which the emperor, leading from the front, met a fatal blow. Beyond military achievements, Julian's attempts to revert the empire to paganism after the spread of Christianity, garnered attention, though with limited success. His audacious efforts on the battlefield and in the religious spectrum of Rome immortalize him as a dynamic, if controversial, figure in the annals of history. Manuel I Comnenos, a ruler who graced the Byzantine throne during the 12th century, was an emperor known for his ambitious military campaigns. Amidst the challenges of his era, his attempts to reclaim lost territories and fortify the empire's presence across regions were unparalleled. Manuel's reign was marked by an intense aspiration to re-establish Byzantine dominion over the Mediterranean, challenging both the Seljuk Turks in the east and the Normans in the west. To the north, he launched campaigns against Hungary, securing regions like Sirmium, and boldly entered into the fray against the powerful Holy Roman Empire. In the east, Manuel made significant inroads, clashing with the Sultanate of Rum and even extending his influence into Crusader states, emphasizing Byzantium's role in the region's complex geopolitics. The zenith of his endeavors, perhaps, was his expedition against Fatimid Egypt, aiming to return it under Christian rule. Though his attempts in Egypt faced resistance, they disrupted Fatimid stability and showcased Byzantine assertiveness in the region. Throughout these ventures, Manuel showcased his unwavering zeal to resurrect the grandeur of the Byzantine Empire, navigating through a labyrinth of allies and adversaries. Maurice, often hailed as the last great emperor of the Eastern Roman Empire before its long decline, rose to power during an age of upheaval and transformation. Under his reign, Byzantium witnessed a series of military campaigns that would shape its destiny. Inheriting an empire under threat from Persia, Maurice demonstrated exceptional prowess by spearheading numerous campaigns across the eastern frontier. The most remarkable feat came when he managed to turn the tide of the long-standing Roman-Persian wars. His adept leadership in these conflicts, including notable victories at key battle sites, eroded Persian momentum and dominance. After several battles, he not only secured territorial gains but also re-established a more favorable peace treaty, thereby ensuring the empire's eastern boundaries. To the north, facing Slavic incursions, Maurice organized a series of campaigns that not only repelled invaders but also established a fortified frontier system. His military reforms, including the creation of smaller, more mobile units, became foundational for Byzantine military strategies in subsequent years. Throughout his reign, Maurice's commitment to strengthening the empire's defenses and expanding its territories was unwavering, 
leaving an indelible mark on Byzantine history. Constantine V, known as the iconoclast emperor of the Byzantine Empire, reigned during a tumultuous era of both religious and military challenges. With his reign defining the peak of Byzantine iconoclasm, his military exploits are often overshadowed. Rising to power, Constantine faced consistent threats, especially from Arab caliphates. Determined to safeguard his territories, he orchestrated the defense of Constantinople in 746 against an Arab siege, employing the formidable Byzantine naval weapon, Greek fire. His endeavors weren't restricted to defense, he went on the offensive against the Bulgars, achieving notable victories and even annexing parts of Bulgaria into the empire. In Anatolia, Constantine led campaigns that pushed back the Arab invaders, fortifying key Byzantine positions and cities. These military feats not only showcased his prowess as a warrior emperor but also ensured the continuity of the Byzantine Empire, in a period teeming with external threats. His leadership on the battlefield was instrumental in maintaining the territorial integrity of the empire during his reign. Alexios I Komnenos ascended to the Byzantine throne during one of its most turbulent periods. Faced with a crumbling empire, his leadership would be the catalyst for its revival. In 1081, the empire was beset by multiple enemies, including the Normans under Robert Giscar. Alexios's early reign was marked by the fierce Battle of Durachium, where, despite the Byzantines suffering a defeat, his resilience prevented a full Norman conquest. Another significant threat emerged from the Seljuk Turks, who had previously seized crucial Byzantine territories. To counter this, Alexios astutely requested aid from the West, leading to the First Crusade. While fraught with challenges, this move eventually led to the recapture of significant lands. He also revamped the Byzantine military and monetary system, proving his acumen wasn't just limited to the battlefield. These endeavors, especially his alliance with the Crusaders, played pivotal roles in reclaiming and stabilizing Byzantine control over Anatolia and the Balkans, setting the stage for a Byzantine resurgence. Nikephoros Aurenas, a distinguished general of the Byzantine Empire, played a crucial role in the defense of the realm. Under Emperor Basil II, his military prowess would be showcased in battles that fortified the empire's borders. During the late 10th and early 11th centuries, the Byzantines faced relentless pressure from various foes, including the Bulgarians and the Saracens. Aurenas's leadership came to the fore when he took charge of the Byzantine forces in the Balkans, where he consistently outmaneuvered the Bulgarians. His most notable victory came at the Battle of Spurkios in 997, where his tactics led to a decisive Byzantine win, curbing Bulgarian advances for a time. In the east, Aurenas confronted the Saracens and orchestrated a significant triumph near Antioch which not only bolstered Byzantine control in the region but also solidified his reputation as a formidable strategist. In addition to his battlefield achievements, Aurenas penned a military manual that provided insights into his strategic thinking. Through his leadership, the empire managed to hold its ground against persistent external threats, cementing Aurenas's legacy as a linchpin of Byzantine military history. So concludes our exploration of ranks 11 to 20, spotlighting the unsung heroes who contributed profoundly to Byzantine military brilliance. Their tales, while lesser known, resonate with the same passion, strategy, and indomitable spirit that the Empire was famed for. Did any of these tales surprise or inspire you? We'd love to hear your thoughts. Give us a like, share your insights in the comments, and if you haven't already, Ensure you're subscribed for more enthralling expeditions into history's vast tapestry.